Hello, everyone. SCP-049 here, playing Plague Inc. once again. Today we're going to be playing the Nanovirus, a very fast-paced plague. Cytochrome Surge and Genetic Mimic will make this game mode a little easier. Because as experienced players of Plague Inc. know, the nanovirus cure starts from the word go. Start location will be Saudi Arabia. And it has begun. As you can see, the cure is already at 1%. This is not good. I'm going to be playing with the game speed a lot on this one. Because things have to be done post haste. Insomnia and paranoia. Just to increase the infectivity a little bit at the start. Whilst not sacrificing a lot of disease points. Yeah. Code fragment interception, not yet. Here we go. 15 disease points to be saved. Okay. It is quite a slow plague to start off. But things have to be done in such a quick manner that I have to play with the uh, speed quite a bit on this, as I am quite impatient and don't like to sit at the base speed the entire time. And two, as you will see, the cure is at 50% at this point. I think I'll need to wait before I abate the cure more, I would say. 95, just to give myself as much time as possible without risking losing the game. Okay, 19 disease points. I need 18 more for water 2. I am, of course, aiming for bio aerosol for maximum infectivity. Yes, I know, game, I do not need your help for such matters. I'm somewhat of an expert. Four more points. And here we go. Oh. Water two. Now. 85 on the cure at this point. It's getting dangerously close to using the natural ability of the nanovirus. So now that I've got extreme bioaerosol, my infectivity will be quite decent. Four more percent. Timing at this point is crucial, so normal speed must be used. Okay. So, radical elements established. We'll bring the cure back down to 55%. I also need to save up points to slow it down, so drug resistance and genetic hardening are on my priority list at this point. I still have one radical element established to use, so even at this point, things seem to be running quite smoothly. There is a lot of Infection lines coming from Saudi Arabia, which is always good to see. New Zealand is infected. Madagascar is infected. Let's see. Cold resistance is always a must at this point because of Greenland.
Just need to save up for cold resistance. It's relatively cheap, so it won't be that hard. Seven disease points. I've got a lot to play with now. Okay, as you can see, the cure is reaching critical mass again, almost 85%. This is quite dangerous. So, I'm just buying minor symptoms to increase the infectivity. Let's see. Apologies for the lack of chit chat in this. Let's play, I really have to focus. But it does seem to be paying off as there is a lot of infectivity going on at this point. I always have to keep an eye on the cure because if it gets cured, that is game over. Lots of bubbles to be popped. This is always good. It gives me plenty of ammunition to kill the population at a later date. I always keep clicking that news bar. It really is a pain in the posterior. Or bum, as the layman would say. Drug immunity is the best possible immunity you can have in first world countries. I've accumulated a lot of disease points at this stage. 106. So, so when it comes to the stage where I hit the kill switch on the disease, so to speak, it will go very fast, assuming I don't get cured in that space of time. 70% seems to be going considerably slower. This is a good Some infections are kicking into overdrive, especially in Africa and Canada. Greenland seems to be infected quite nicely at this point, so it's just a matter of time. Okay, good. Ukraine, the last to be infected for some for some reason. Not quite sure, so hemorrhagic shock. Um, total hemorrhaging. I think at this point, genetic reshuffle will just give me that extra time to spread it. I 
I think all of the world should be infected quite soon. A lot of deaths there all of a sudden. No healthy people left in the world. The cure is at 70. This is looking quite good. 30, 40. Disease points spiking up as people die. And at this point, it's just a matter of time. Hitting the cure vials still. I doubt it would make any difference even if I didn't hit them. And at this point, it's just a waiting game. They failed to cure my nanovirus. So they perished. Hopefully in a very painful way. So, that is how you destroy the world with a nanovirus. I hope this has been educational. I hope to see you again next time. And as always, I am the cure.